the ease. I mean, you pe people don't hate Americans. People certainly are very upset, most of them, about your policies. I, I mean, uh, I, 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 we were in uh, Florida in uh, 2003 when the debate was all around about whether you should uh, um, invade Iraq. And the, 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 the United States, not Americans, <laughs> your administration. And, and you've got to keep making that distinction. And, and I think most people actually do. I mean, they make the distinction between, I, I opposed very, very vehemently President Reagan's constructive engagement policy vis-a-vis uh, -vis South Africa. But I, I didn't, I, I wasn't opposed to Americans. I, I, I went and I, and as I've said, it was, it was especially university students in, in the United States who helped to change that policy. Um, and there are very, very, very many people, I mean, one knows that there are very many people in your country who are opposed to the war. Now there are many more uh, realizing as many of us say, I mean, the war is an immoral war. Full stop. And that's what we said. That's what the Pope said. That's what the Archbishop of Canterbury said. And a lot, and a lot of people. And now the consequences point out that, uh, in fact, it was uh, clearly so. So it isn't. I mean, if you if you went to most parts of the world, people wouldn't clobber you because you're American. But they would certainly, I mean, I think we're going to get very many people saying they are opposed to the unilateralism of your country, uh, your administration, the fact that you can say, most of the world says, let's have the International Criminal Court. The United States says, go jump in the lake. Most of the world says, let's have the Kyoto uh, Accord. And they say, yeah, I mean, we're going, the United States says, not on your life. Uh, and, and, and I mean, that, that really puts people's back up. But it isn't, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't that when, if you, if you went around and you said, I'm an American, uh, people would want to throttle you. <laughs> very, very few instances. I mean, there may be. There may be some places where people don't make that distinction. I mean, and they, they, they are so upset about the kinds of things that uh, your administration has done that, uh, yeah, they don't make the distinction. Hi. Uh, the U.S. has been criticized for turning their back on a lot of human rights violations, and I was just wondering in the current world situation, uh, what we can do just as average U.S. citizens, what your perspective is on what we should do in that situation? Actually, you'd be surprised at the number of U.S. citizens working in Africa particularly um, as volunteers in education, agriculture, in many things. So um, I think that should continue. And, and you young people, I mean, are wonderful in, in, your, in your idealism. Yeah, I mean, I've been to, we've been to a f quite a few countries, uh, like, I mean, poor countries, you know, places like Honduras and so forth. And it's been, it's been incredible meeting up with American kids who are, in Peace Corps, for instance, working in remote villages. I mean, not looking, not looking for kudos, but, but being there and, 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 and just working, maybe helping to build a school 
uh, you, you know, teach. Uh, they, you're doing, they're doing fantastic work. I mean, I, I frequently say I get quite upset at how uh, media don't, in fact, give as much play to some of the wonderful things that young people do do. I mean, far too frequently, the, the kind of publicity you have about young people is when they go off the rails. Uh, and you say, isn't this amazing that not more young people get off the rails, given the kinds of pressures that uh, are exerted on them? And, and, the, and the incredible things that they do do, I mean, you know, uh, they, as Leo as Le was saying, I mean, they are teachers, they are um, nurses, they work in things like uh, Habitat for Humanity, <laughs> you know, I mean, things of that sort. Um, and, and, and that's how you promote human rights. Sometimes it's not by making speeches like Archbishop Tutu. It, it's just being there, you know, and 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 saying to people, you can. Uh, my question is similar. After all your experience and all you've done in the world, what's the most valuable piece of advice that you can give to the youth and the new generations? Well, I've already said it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would want to say to young people, dream. Really dream. I mean, God depends on you. Because many of you, and, and I usually say, please don't allow, allow us oldies to, to make you cynical. Dream that the world actually can become a world where there is no war that it, it can be a world where people share more equitably. It is possible. I mean, it is possible for us to feed every single child on earth. It is possible that we can provide clean water for every single child. I mean, when you think of the amount of money we spend on arms, billions, and just a small fraction. Now dream and say, we'd like to see a world without war. I mean, this thing that says, make poverty history. It's driven, it's driven quite a bit by young people. Bono, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, people of that kind. You, 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 I mean, say, I want to make a difference. Not, not in a, you want to be spectacular. But you can actually make a difference. You can make a difference. Hi. Um, I had talked to, I lived with um, an Afrikaans family um, for a little while. And you did what, ma'am? I, I lived with an Afrikaans family on the uh -huh. Eastern Cape. Um, and a lot of the people that I had talked to um, claim that it, it's not so much um, racism that um, is alive, but it's there's so many cultural differences. And I was just wondering how you guys felt about that, because that's an obvious, that's um, a, the perspective and the opinion of a white family who employs um, a, zoo, uh, a maid and, um, you know, workers and whatnot, and that's kind of their um, defense, I think. Um, I'm just wondering what cultural difference would uh, say uh, we can't share a loaf of bread. Uh, what culture would say 
you have to use that door and I back door. I'm thinking of the South African situation where uh, we live for so long, where you, even in public places, in post offices, you couldn't enter through one door to buy a postage stamp. And is that a cultural difference? Uh, you believe that, that would be sort of cultural difference? I think it's very much a race thing. I, I don't take that one of cultural differences at all. Hi, my question is, um, if you're familiar with the crisis in Haiti right now, the violence and the, the poverty, and if you're familiar, what can like be done? Like, What do you suggest that they can do to help them out? Mm. All I know about Haiti at the moment is that we are keeping their president in South Africa uh, <laughs> luxuriously in one of our most luxurious suburbs in Johannesburg uh, at the taxpayer's expense. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you, you know, you have, you have poverty and you, you are just wishing, I mean, somehow that we were able to um, help most countries uh, help themselves to become more able to support their communities. I mean, uh, Haiti is still, I think, recovering from the effect of that very, very long period of uh, oppression uh, and dictatorship, uh, which, uh, which didn't help uh, the, the process of development. Um, and, and one had thought, what is it, Pre President Bertrand? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we met, we met uh, when he was in the United States. And, and I, I mean, I believe very strongly that he, he seemed to be committed to helping the people. Now, it's not very clear. Some 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 people feel very strongly that uh, he he the coup that happened there mm -hmm. um, was uh, engineered from the United States. I mean, they they say uh, I don't know. I mean, but until you have political stability, yeah. I mean, until you have stabi political stability, it's going to be very difficult to to develop. I mean, uh, people, people are so obsessed, as it were, and rightly, with mm -hmm. just survival. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What would you say? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, you first say first the political situation needs to be stabilized. stabilized. Yeah, but then it's the violence. The My dad sees that more as a, between the haves and have-nots. It's such a deep and everyone in power just wants to take all the money. Everyone wants to be in power. <laughs> everyone wants to be president, basically, is the problem. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes, thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. <laughs> While we're on the topic of other countries, um, I was just curious what your personal stance was, um, both your personal stances, actually, on the, I guess you could call them religious wars going on right now in India and Pakistan between the Hindus and the Muslims, just out of curiosity. You know, <laughs> one keeps trying to remind people that religion in and of itself is neither good nor bad. You know, it is what you do with it or what you allow it to do with you. Because after all, you know, in Northern Ireland, it's Christians mm -hmm. who are clobbering each other. Mm -hmm. um, and and you can't say it is Christianity. It is certain Christians who do, who claim that their, their religious position makes them do certain things or demand certain things. Um, and, and, and equally so in Hinduism, Islam, 
there are good Muslims, there are bad Muslims. There are good Christians, there are very bad Christians. There are, there are fundamentalists who are Christians, there are fundamentalists who are Muslims, who are Hindu, who are whatever. And, and religion can get to be used as a, a factor that exacerbates situations. And people want to claim uh, religion as, in a way, legitimizing whatever they may be doing. And so any conflict anywhere is something that uh, human beings have got to say, I mean, we're opposed to it. Mm -hmm. and, and, feel, and feel deeply upset that fellow human beings are at each other's throats in the kind of way that they are. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and, and that we want to do all we can. That we shouldn't, that we shouldn't gloat, you know, and say, ah, <laughs> it, it, look at those Muslims again, mm -hmm. uh, or look at those Hindus. We, we've not done too badly in that kind of state, Christians. I mean, if you remember, it was Christians who were involved in the Holocaust. It was, it was Christians.